the certified most accurate forecast from First Alert meteorologist Andrew Dockery. All right, 609 is we're stepping out the door. We're holding on to once again a plenty of showers and storms now starting to get going across Mississippi. You'll notice that is just the start of what's to come today. Level four severe weather risk across Texas, Arkansas, even Louisiana. That system will work its way toward the southeast of the Carolinas. And notice for us new this morning, we're not in that level two risk anymore. We have one edge there of Darlington County in the level two risk, but the threat for some strong storms tomorrow is weakening. I'll tell you what, though, even though the threat weakens, the wind field will grow as we go into the afternoon and this moves its way to the east and the winds begin to pick up, especially for tomorrow. We were talking about securing outdoor furniture. Uh, you'll notice the wind on the commutes as well, so just keep that in mind for tomorrow. Today, 20 to 25 mile per hour winds. We can handle that still. If you want to move the indoor furniture, you're good to go uh, for tomorrow, though, 35 to 45 mile per hour gusts, especially the afternoon becomes a little bit more sustained here as we wait for that cold front to move in. Of course, both days also feature rain chances. Wind and rain going to be around for today, but still not a washout. And there's a good chance there's someone today that stays dry along with staying dry tomorrow. That's how limited the rain and how limited the moisture is when we go into this system. So notice for today, 40% chance mainly for the afternoon. We've been dry this morning. We'll continue that trend as we go into the afternoon, holding on to a couple scattered showers. Temperature is still warm for today, and that rain will continue to fall as we head into the evening. Warm front lifts back up to the north, and that brings in some showers as we head into the morning. Uh, notice most of the day tomorrow is dry, but the cold front will bring one final round of showers and maybe an isolated storm as we go into the overnight. So tomorrow actually not too shabby other than just the wind. We'll see some rain early in the morning, a brief break and then rain for the evening. Now a level one severe weather risk. We were talking about how the ingredients, if we have the moisture, would come into play. It's just not going to be the case. We have strong winds, wind shear, cold front, all that, but we don't have the moisture and this is coming in so late at night. It's losing its energy, so some good news there for your Friday. That cold front gets out of here the weekend. Breezy on Saturday, 73 degrees, but we're clear. 73, 66. Weekend plans look great. Surfside Beach Barbecue Festival, the Myrtle Beach Marathon, Taste of the Marsh Walk. Whatever you have planned here for the weekend, looking okay, especially with temperatures sitting in those 60s. Remember, normal is 62. Next week, though, we will begin to fall below normal temperatures. 50s come back in for Thursday, Friday, and even Saturday as cooler air starts to work in for the middle of March.